Welcome back to Take Notes with Uwama Khan, a podcast where I answer your business question. Today we have a question from Manha. Hi Manha, where are you from and what is your question? Hi Uwama, I am from Cambridge, Ontario and my question is related to human resource. I am hiring for my small business and I was wondering if I should consider biodata forms for the hiring process. Great question, Manha. First, let's talk about what and how biodata could be used, and then we'll discuss the tactical uh, components of it. To start off with, when a company is hiring for employees, the initial phase of selection is the applicant screening. The applicant screening is the first step of selection where they make a rough cut of the applicant pool. The goal is to eliminate the uh, candidates that do not meet the minimum qualification. In the hunt of the suitable employee, the candidates are asked to fill an applicant blank, a form which provides basic information about the individuals, such as their knowledge, skills, past education, and work experience. Another typical pre-selection questionnaire for candidates are, is a biographical information blank also known as BIB. The BIB requires applicants to tell detailed job-related information about the personal backgrounds and life experiences. The important component of the form is bio data. The bio- biographical data is gathered from various sources like BIB and application blanks, and the information contained are their age, height, family which relationship, leisure uh, time activities, hobbies, and so on. The purpose is the purpose of bi uh, biodata is that employee uh, employers will be able to predict employees' future behavior and job success based on their past behavior. Now that we know what biodata is, let's talk whether it's beneficial for an organization. We already know about the strengths, so let's talk about the disadvantage of uh, biodata. The concern for biodata is mainly fakeability, accuracy, and invasion of privacy. It is extremely easy to get false information, and there is not a lot of information in public to prove the accuracy of information that the candidates give on the forms. Also, some will argue against the need to provide personal inf- family information and past history because they could consider it to be invasion of privacy. For instance, knowing candidate past work education is understandable. But anything beyond that, like hobbies and family background, could be considered unnecessary. Not only are there privacy issues, but they also lead to legal issues as well. There's a gov- there are so many different government legislations protecting individuals from being discriminated against because of their race, age, gender, uh, status, and so on. So when create so all when uh, presenting questions, biodata questions, you have to consider all of that as well. Uh, next, let's talk about the technical standpoint with. Uh, reliability and validity for uh, reliability that varies greatly it depends on the content of the question and overall there's n- there's no strong evidence supporting reliability reliability for biodata however there's a lot of research and evidence supporting validity of biodata Research has shown that biodata can accurately predict different ranges of job behavior, job proficiency, job training, turnover, and absenteeism for rise for a wide range of occupations. A research done by Riley and Chow in 1982 found that biodata has an average validity of 0.35 over many different occupations and wide range of criteria. Hunters and Hunters analysis in 1984 suggests that personal history is is a predictor for future work behavior with an average validity of 0.37. Overall, biodata measures have shown to have effective, uh, effective to predict job success. But some will argue that biodata has face validity because some items may be considered not job related, which will create, rea- create reactions as biodata to be unfair. Now that we know all the information about biodata, at this point, it's the organization's responsibility to figure out how they're going to set up their hiring process and what kind of questions will be added when they're looking for an uh, employee. Hope this information helps man- help you, Mana, with your hiring process. All the best. And let's get the next question.